Ms. Bassey and Mr. Large. Thank you. Um, first of all, I want to say that I do appreciate all the work that all the clerks, the paralegals, and the people do um, in the district attorneys or any office in our county. Those are the people who are vastly underpaid, underappreciated, and who are suffering from people who are abusing their power. I don't think that most people realize that the average salary with benefits package of a um, lawyer in the district attorney's office is over $300,000 a year. And I think these clerks and people who are putting in a lot of work um, should be compensated appropriately. But the other thing that is wrong is that your numbers are skewed. In taking the victim services unit into Jeff Rosen's office, you created a conflict. Um, yesterday, a man who has been, he's 79 years old, was not able to have a support person that he's assured under Marcy's law. You are not complying with Marcy's law. You are not taking care of victims. Your judges are not trained to be careful with victims. And these people can advocate and do everything all they want. But if Jeff Rosen is going to pad applications for victim services, or if he's going to block them to skew his numbers, you're not getting the real facts. And the reality is that yesterday I spoke with Kendra Scott, and she is the victim of former 49er Ray McDonald. And I asked her, in the five years that the district attorney's office has been dealing with these 49ers who have been sexually assaulting and harassing women throughout our county, if anyone ever offered Kendra Scott the services she's entitled to under Marcy's Law, and despite all the training and certification of the advocates that we have in our office, no one ever did. No one ever told her about the form through the Office of Emergency Services. No one ever gave her any support. So before you give this man one more dime in that department, make him manage the dimes that he has now much better.